Network 1 has the on-delay timer and Network 2 the on-delay timer coil. The on-delay timer starts on the leading edge of a 0 to 1 transition. The input must remain true for the timer to time to zero. The coil is zero or false while the timer is timing down, and the coil is one or true when the timer has timed out. Each time the input transitions from zero to one, the timer automatically restarts. It is not necessary to assign a reset or output addresses. The time format for all S7 timers is S5T pound sign, followed by the hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds, up to a maximum time of 2 hours, 46 minutes, and 30 seconds. The timer's name, T104, also acts as a coil and can be evaluated as a contact. You may also add an external coil like M250.3 and evaluate that bit instead of the T bit if you prefer. Let's monitor the block. Make sure that network 1 is highlighted and we will energize input 1.6 and leave it true until the timer times down to zero. You will notice that the T104 bit in network 3 follows the timer. Transition input 1.6 to false and then to true again. If the input goes false before the timer times out, the timer will stop timing and the coil remains false. If the input transitions from zero to one, the timer will restart. The on-delay timer coil in Network 2 works the same way. To review, the on-delay timer starts on the leading edge of a 0 to 1 transition. The input must remain true for the timer to time to 0. The coil is 0 or false while the timer is timing down, and the coil is 1 or true when the timer is timed out. Each time the timer transitions from 0 to 1, the timer will restart. And that concludes.